always cares what picture you see, and I want to hear all about the accountant. Well, Ben Affleck, who is everywhere these days, he's got another big one coming out this season. He plays um, uh, a man with a psychological disorder, Asperger's, or some range of autism, but he's a math wizard. Mm -hmm. So his father trained him from a very young age to look after himself with martial arts and and strategic thinking. So he uh, becomes, he uses his math gift and becomes an accountant, but then he hooks up with uh, international criminal organizations, drug as dealers, you do. Are, as you do <laughs> when you have any kind of gift. <laughs> but he operates out of a strip mall, so no one's on to him. And he's been doing this for years, and he knows everything about every corrupt government, business, what have you. So he becomes a target. And I must say, it's really interesting the way they portray this guy with social limitations and... Um, day-to-day limitations, getting through this with these incredible gifts and Mm self-defense things. And it's really intriguing. And then in the third act, it completely falls apart because there are too many subplots joined in. And the last uh, chapter, the last maybe 20 minutes, it's all guns and death and death and death and death. So, Mm -hmm. you know, it kind of fell apart in the third act. Other than that, fantastic. Okay, what about American Honey? Well, I think we spoke briefly about this during Mm -hmm. TIFF. It's about a bunch of youngsters driving around in a truck selling magazines. Is this Elvis's granddaughter? Yeah, Yeah, Riley Keough, right. right. And she's the boss, and uh, a harder-nosed boss I've never seen. Uh, Have you met me? Present company. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Sam. uh, (laughs) No, 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 not in the least. And Sheila LaBeouf is back, probably just being himself, just really way out there. Whacked. And Sasha Lane, this total newcomer who is actually the lead, and she plays one of the new recruits. And it's just three hours of of, uh, drugs, sex, and... um, I don't know, knocking on doors and being rejected. So, <laughs> oh, that sounds good. great. I, uh, no, she doesn't but, like but that one. I will okay. tell you, the, the millennials love it. Oh, uh, well, let's move on then. Yeah. How yeah. about Unless? Oh, my God, that's so good. It's based on the Carol Shields novel about a young girl who lives in, in great comfort, uh, middle, upper middle class mm-hmm. family in Orangeville called Orange Town in the film. Um, who really <laughs> disappears, and right. her parents find her in front of Honest Ed's in the middle of winter, wrapped in a blanket. She can't; she can no longer speak. So they don't know what's happened, and it's their reaction to what's going on. Her entire family, her grandmother, her, her siblings, and it's just a real deep meditation on love and loss, and and goodness, as you'll find if you see it. It's, it's Paul really Gross's good. daughter? Paul Gross's daughter, Hannah, and she is terrific. Hmm. Uh, just ask Alex, our associate producer. We shot an interview with her. She's just lovely. It's up, I believe it is up on our YouTube oh, channel good. right now. Great, great. Um, Rachel Weiss in Complete Unknown. <laughs> this knocked my socks off. It was only announced yesterday that it was going to be opening this weekend. So it's about um, a young girl who... Well, she has social difficulties, too. That seems to be the theme this week. She feels the need to change her personality and her lifestyle every, well, she says when that person is finished. So she's traveled the world. She's become an expert in in her new character's chosen fields in every kind of profession, Uh, nursing, um, marine biology, uh, surgeon, all of that kind of stuff. And it's very strange. She hunts out her first husband because she craves to see someone she knew before. Hmm. He joins her on a night of um, persona exchanging, loves it. And uh, it's just, and then he says, you've got to change things. And she says, and to, to become who? Very interesting psychological study. Kind of a small film. And I just want to mention Killing Reagan, mm-hmm. which is a terrific two-hour series on National Geographic coming up on the 16th. And a, a friend of mine, Rod Lurie, who I have great respect for, he's a political filmmaker. It's about the attempt on Reagan's life by John Hinckley. 
And one more quickly, a quick five seconds. Dr. Th- Dr. Thorne on, uh, uh, by Julian Follows, who gave us Downton Abbey. Mm-hmm. He created this series last year. It's four parts, and uh, it's pretty interesting. It's earlier. It's Victorian era. The clothes and the settings and the houses, you know they're going to be I just love, magnificent. I just loved watching that part of Downton Abbey. So I, can, I, I like everything he does, though, Follows. Yeah, and I, actually, he sits in front of a gas fire in a really modest little living room and introduces an extras each episode. So that's really fun. That is well worth seeing. Um, I hear it's an excellent cast. Yes, including one American. There always has to be an American around to sort of slap them back into reality. And that's Alison Brie from Community. So um, now there's one more thing. Uh, the third season of Black Mirror Black is starting Mirror. up on Netflix. Yes, is that good? I haven't watched any of it. Should I? Well, it's a British series and uh, very disturbing stuff. Yeah, you should watch it. It's about our digital world and what happens and what's become of us. And one of the episodes in the American version uh, stars Blake Dallas Howard in a future society where we rate one another even more than we do now. Oh, dear. All right. Thank you very much, Annie. You're welcome. You might just take-